Oh, I had a text message at the same time old old stuff video popped up. I had to pass one to take the other. Yeah, what a fan I am. <laughs> okay, so we're on a pickup this morning. Picked up a generator and a gel top battery. Look at this garden oasis. Very lovely. Of course, we got the good old puppy dogs here. Yeah. Wow. That's what I need to do to my backyard. But then I gotta wait 20 years for it to get like this. <laughs> Very cool. Then I got something. Check this out. Steve eight. Steve straight. Steve. Ah, I'm messing it. I'm butchering it. Sorry, man. Steve S R T. Steve S R eight. Jesus. Get it there, Svenja. There you go. Your PBR light. I remember having that phone, that phone. Uh, very cool. Uh, or, uh, and then check out the old Schlitz. Schlitz. Cool. There you go, Miss Canadian Scrapper, your cast iron tub with the claws feet. <laughs> Very cool. He's got the deck going up. Uh, that's quite a nice little hangout. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> Is that a squirrel? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Back in the day, he used to chase some suckers down. We got an old broken down generator. We got a gel top battery. We gotta hurry up because the scrapyard closes early today. This is how you get a hand truck off a truck. A washing machine off a truck. Look at that, easy peasy. It's snow, it's about foot from hitting the foot. Well, it'll slide eventually. It's hanging on by the tape. Don't worry about the little bit of rust. That's no big deal. Sand it, paint it, good to go. Nice rise, guys. Very nice. I got $30 for that washing machine. He didn't even find out what was wrong with it. It was in such great shape, other than a little bit of rust on the side, but the inside of the carriage was practically brand new. The drum turned, he was very satisfied with it, so he just handed me 30 bucks. A hundred times better than going to the scrapyard. Oh! Come in hot! No way would it pay for, you know, just couple hours worth of work driving around a couple conk calls uh, let's see here light iron 240 pounds for nine and a quarter for 2220 uh, the battery 59 pounds for 12 cents a pound for seven dollars and eight cents yeah I should have took it to the parts store and got the ten dollar gift card but yeah oh well a little bit of wire three pounds of our dollar five for 315 Shady. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Old sheet, one pound, fifty-four cents for fifty-four cents, and one ballast, three pounds, four ten cents for thirty cents. Ooh, that was an extra ballast I found the other day. For a grand total of focus, thirty-five eighty-seven. Thirty-four is what it came out to be. All right. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share me out, and uh. Have a good day. Have a beautiful weekend. Okay, we just left the scrapyard and got a phone call to come up to this property. They just sold it. We're like, hey, you can have all the scrap metal you want. So, uh, this piece, this piece, and that other gold piece come from another pickup. This uh, small rod iron bench, 
this black step stool, these old little thingies, old chairs, the uh, trike for a pot, old cast iron pot. Who can who can look at that and know what it is right off the bat? Yep. This old milker. I think it's a milker. Um, maybe it's something different. But it's cool. The air, the time before plastic. Yeah, that, that weight, that, that'll be scrap. I got this old uh, rod iron table. <sighs> and we got this cast iron cauldron. And then the piece I like the most is this cast iron bird bath. And it has a bird in there. It's on the right there, little cast iron birdie. Yeah. Ninety percent of this is not gonna go to the scrapyard. Ninety percent of this is all resellable. It's very desirable. Even if it is a little rusty and it's crusty and you know it's got a hole in there, people still buy that stuff. They like it. <sighs> now, let's see what else we can go find. That better look at that cast iron bird bath. Come across a couple of these. It's so good. <sighs> 